Welcome to Learning Mole. Today we are talking about addition for kids and we're thinking about the different steps that you might go through to make sure that your child has that good basic understanding of addition and can actually apply it in a range of different contexts. So today we're going to talk about tools that you might want to use to help your child understand addition or to work out different addition calculations. Um, one thing I would say is giving your child a number line or a number square is not cheating. It's giving your child that visual support, that practical support that they may need initially. The aim is that you will use these tools initially and then you will be able to move away from them. So please don't feel that by giving your child a tool that it's cheating in any way or that um, they're not learning because they are. So the first tool I'm going to talk about are those very simple number lines. If your child is at school, they possibly will be using them in school. Now, I am a big fan of using a blank number line for the sole reason you're not limited to what numbers are on there. But you can limit, you can do your own numbers if you want or get a commercially printed one. I love the blank number line because you don't actually need to print anything off. You can just simply draw it, put whatever numbers you want on there, whatever scale you want on there. It can be blank, it can be numbers 1 to 10, it can be numbers 1 to 20. It could be numbers 20 to 50. It's whatever you want it to be, which is, it makes it so versatile. So for example, I've drawn my number line and I'm deciding that I'm only going to add within 10. So I'm going to put my numbers 1 to 10 on there. So very, very simply. And you can do this on a whiteboard or it can be done on a piece of paper. It's entirely up to you. Um, if you look at some other videos I've got as well, there's some really nice ways of making interactive number lines with Cheerios or beads and a pipe cleaner and your children can actually make their own number line and actually use that um, to do their calculations and they can decorate it however they want. So I've got my number line with my numbers on there and then you're actually going to show your child how to use it. So for example, if I want to add four plus two, this is the process that you'll talk through with your child of how to use a number line. So first of all, we talk about the idea of putting the biggest number first. Of course, in addition, it doesn't matter what way the numbers go around, but by putting the biggest number first, it makes the calculation just that little bit easier and there's less numbers to work with. So it means that your child actually has less likely chance of making a mistake or an error. So we're saying the biggest number is already first, so that's good. And we're going to start at number four. So you're going to locate four on your number line. Now, again, if you want to actually have this on a desk or in front of your child, you can give them a little figure to jump around with. You can give them a cube. You can use stickers. As I say, you can do it on a whiteboard so they can draw and rub off. Do whatever you feel your child will enjoy. Do whatever you feel your child will understand and what will help your child. I know my two boys love the little figures um, and they actually use the little figures to jump on their number line and it's lots of fun and they use, oh, always choose Lego ones. Um, so for example, four plus two. So we go to our number four and I always encourage the children to draw a dot for where they're starting just so that they know that that's their starting part, point. And then we're adding on two. So we're discussing the idea that adding on two is two jumps. It could be two sweets, it could be two anything, but we're going to talk about doing two jumps. So we do one jump to five, and then we do one jump to six. So we've done our two and our answer is six. So your child can very, very visually clearly see what adding two actually means but also they've got a means of double checking. You can say, are you sure that four plus two is six? And they can say, yes, four plus two, one, two, lands me on to six. So it's a really, just a really nice tool that's very visual and can be used in so many different ways that your child will hopefully enjoy and be able to understand um, and have that practical element. Now, another version really of a number line are number squares. Now you can use a 100 square, which is um, numbered one to 10 and obviously downwards. Or I've just got a variety of different number squares you can give your child to help them. And basically it works exactly the same way as a number line. They will identify the number they want to start on. So I'm going to start on four and I'm going to do two jumps, one, two, and I'm on to six. It could even be that you start on four and you color into to show where you land and I'm landing on six. So again, very versatile. You can use um, different means. As I say, you can use little figures on the number squares as well. You can do coloring. It's entirely up to you and what your child enjoys. 
What I would also say about number squares, they're very good when you're actually starting to count in steps or you're um, working on repeated addition because the child can visually see the pattern emerging, emerging, especially if you color it. So for example, when you're adding 10 in a 100 square, you're adding 10 every time the number will be below, below, below. So it'll be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. They will see as well that idea of place value because they will see that each time the tens numbers changing, but the units stay the same. So again, it's a good way to discuss how adding different numbers have sometimes different patterns. And it's a good way to actually allow your child to see those patterns. And it's amazing how quickly children will identify those patterns and actually start to discuss them with you and explain what those patterns mean. So it just adds a little bit of extra challenge in there as well. But do feel free to introduce your child to these tools and don't feel that you have to give them them um, and let them do the, use it a couple of times and then quickly take it away. They will start to move away from it when they feel confident and they feel comfortable about what addition really means to them.